How you doing, America? And well, the rest of the world. I thought we should have a conversation real quick. So there is emerging data. Now, it's data. I'm not a doctor. However, since I know how to read and look up information, I can educate myself on data, which is what I suggest all of you do. Look at all these studies. If you read something you don't understand, educate yourself. I know this is a hard thing for you, and I'm suggesting something that's horrible somehow for you guys to educate yourself, but I'm used to it, seeing as how most of you, when I tell you to try to get healthy and lose weight, you freak out too, because, you know, reality is something to freak out about, apparently, but... I want everybody to pay attention to literally what is happening and what we are doing, what we've done in this last year. We found out not too long ago, like shortly after we started giving the jab to people, that we can no longer use convalescent plasma from those people that have been jabbed because it destroys the antibodies that would be needed for convalescent plasma. Um, this was pretty crazy seeing as how some people are not going to be able to take the jab. No matter how much they push on you, there's some people that are not going to be able to take it because of their immunocompromisations. It just is. It's why also that the jab shouldn't be being given in like a Walmart parking lot or something like that. It should be given to you by your doctor after a personalized conversation between you and your doctor. This is not controversial, you know, anything. This is not a controversial opinion. This is not controversial advice. You should talk to your doctor before injecting something into your body that is not FDA approved. I'm just saying it straight out. However, now emerging data is showing that we can't use the convalescent plasma from these people, but their organs cause uh, blood clots and thrombosis. We can't use their organs. So we've eliminated in America about 150 million possible organ donors for people. How is society supposed to look after this? Like most of you, if we would have just gotten healthy last year, if we would have just really tried to get healthy, would have never even been concerned about this. If you would have started taking vitamin D, supplementing vitamin D, no matter where you live, because even if you live in a sunny state, it's, you're likely not getting enough vitamin D. But if we would have just started taking vitamin D, started losing weight, started you know reducing our processed sugar down, if we would have tried to be healthy, for this last year, we would have been able to avoid all this. But now, future people that look for organ donations, for whatever they need it for, whether it be a birth defect, whether it be uh, some sort of illness that destroys a, an organ, anything, accident, anything, the pool is going to be much smaller because people that have had the jab can probably not donate organs. The data is emerging, the study is in preprint, but it is looking like they are going to be ineligible to give their organs to people. How have we done this to ourselves? This was done because we hissy-fitted instead of looking at the data and having conversation. You see, science, the way science works is you sit the data in the middle of a room and then you surround it with dissenting scientific opinions and experts and you let them talk it out to a scientific consensus is made. We didn't do that. We silenced anybody that dissented against what certain people said for over a year. It's dangerous, and we are all going to pay the price. Thanks a lot. Goddamn.